All right, what is going on guys? Alex7 here, welcome back to another TDUSC video. And in today, I'm showing you five of my favorite cars that were released or showcased in 2020 that I hope make it into TDUSC. So without further ado, let's get started. So very first, the Maserati MC20. Now this is not only a car that I think is just perfection i also think that this is one of the cars that i would definitely buy if i had the money to and it's just beautiful inside and out up on the screen are pictures of the mc20 now it was announced just last year and as you guys can see it looks stunning it looks astonishing to be honest it's definitely one of my most favorite cars that were released back in 2020 the only thing that it needs is a proper exhaust system because at the moment it doesn't really sound that nice but the interior oh guys come on this is definitely one of the cars I would buy if I had the money. Who knows? Hopefully, I will have and I will buy this car 100% because not only do the doors open up, it's just a whole vibe in general. 100% MC20 is one of the cars I do hope makes it into TDSC and that might be the first supercar I even purchase in the game. It's just hands down beautiful. Now, I should also know that the MC20 boasts a 621 horsepower 3 liter V6 engine, which definitely adds to the fact that I would really do hope that this car makes it into the TDSC. It has the power, it has the Maserati vibe, and it has the looks. It has everything, especially it's very lightweight. So let's move on to another car that I hope makes it into TDSC, that being the Koenigsegg Jumeirah. So let's talk about that. Now the Koenigsegg Jumeirah comes in at 1.8 thousand kilograms, which is pretty cool. It also has three electric motors placed at the rear wheels and one at the crankshaft and has an electric range of 50 kilometers, but the combined power output of, get this, 1,700 horsepower. Now the thing is, this is also a four-seater, and if you guys do remember, in TD2, you were actually able to drive with your friends in the car, so you were actually able to co-drive. Now this would be very cool if we were able to buy the Koenigsegg Jumeirah in TDUSC, we could have up to three of our friends in the car at the same time. It would be insane. Could you imagine driving the Koenigsegg Jumeirah with three of your other friends, one in the passenger seat, two in the back, and you're all just cruising around come on that would be a huge plus i really do hope the jumeirah not only makes it into tdsc but it has the feature and ability to make sure that you are able to fit three of your friends in at the same time for code driver mode that would be beautiful but just a quick note not only do i want it for the jumeirah it'd be cool if you can have multiple friends more than one in cars where applicable so for example suvs sedans it'd be cool if we we're able to have multiple friends in the car i mean you guys can obviously see here the interior of the cornice jumeirah is already pretty nice come on you don't want to, guys come on this is one of my most favorite especially when you take in it's a four door <laughs> sorry not a four door it's a four seater especially when you need to take that in but let's move on to another car i really do hope makes it into tdsc that was also announced in 2020 that is the lotus evija now we all know that this is going to be an all electric supercar made by lotus and if you take it in it has 1.6 thousand kilograms of weight four electric motors placed at each wheel and of course has a range of 400 kilometers now when you really put that into horsepower what is that you're probably going to ask me well that actually equivalates to pretty much 2000 horsepower which is insane on top of that the rear end of the vija looks crazy you guys can see it here on the screen right now what the rear end of the vija looks like as well as the interior now come on this car also fits to you. See, the thing is, a lot of people, especially when the fan car submissions in the TDU SC official Discord was posted, I see a lot of people post cars that they yeah, they're cool, but they don't fit TDUSC. This is one of those cars that screams TDUSC. I mean, you don't, come on. 100% is one of those cars. I really do hope that this makes it into TDUSC. But let's move on to another one of my favorite cars that I really do hope makes it. That is the Ferrari SF90 Stradale. Now, just like all of the cars that were recently coming on the market, it is actually a hybrid vehicle, similar to the P1 or other sort of vehicles. And it will actually boast a 986 horsepower combined total, which is pretty crazy. And again, the rear end, in my opinion, is one of my most favorite things about this car. It it kind of brings together the look of a 458 mashed together with like, I can't even explain it, but the very end, especially the flying buttresses at the back looks beautiful. I totally love the design of this car and I, I actually placed it up with the MC20. In fact, most of the cars I'm showing you guys in this video, I think are designed very, very well and very beautifully. But the Stradale is one of my most favorite Ferraris. In fact, it might actually be my favorite Ferrari in general. I'd actually put it above the LaFerrari because in my opinion, the rear end of this car is, come on, 
beautiful. The Italians just know what they're doing. But let's move on to last but not least, another car I really do hope makes it into TUSC, that being the Bentley and Mulliner Bacalar. So let's talk about this. Now this is a bi-turbo W12 engine, yes I said the right, W12 engine, developing 654 brake horsepower as well as 667 foot-pounds of torque. And it also has a top speed of over 200 miles per hour. And you can tell this, not only does it kind of look like a Bentley, they can obviously straight away, but guys, the front headlights, perfection yet again. The rear end, perfection yet again. It still has the Bentley vibes, but obviously made elsewhere. But you guys can take in, it is a convertible or drop top, I should say. With that being said, any drop top or any convertible or any no roof car such as this, is perfect for TDSC, especially when you take in we're going to be on an island which we don't know yet but hopefully we will find out this year on what island Kiloton have chosen for TDSC but obviously this just suits an island just like the Rolls Royce Dawn for example or any other convertible it just suits an island vibe because obviously you're in a hot area you want to take your roof off at some point come on now am I wrong or am I right but these are all the vehicles I have on my list, the top five vehicles on my list that I really do hope make into TDSC. And I'm pretty sure one of them is going to make it. I think the most likely one is probably the Stradale or the MC20, but I guess we will have to wait and see and find out. Leave a like down below and subscribe for more TDSC content. You already know what it is, I'm Lux7. I'll see you guys in another video. I'm out, peace.